Hey, Coach Colin Castella here with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, we're going to learn how to shoot off a of separation. So shooting off a of separation is really, really important because as a scorer, that's kind of the next step that you need to take to be able to get separation from your defender to get a wide open jumper. So there's a few different moves or a few different things that I like to use to get separation from the defender. So the first one's a pullback. And a pullback's great because you can do it at 15 feet, you can do it at the three point line, you can do it wherever you need to to get that separation from your defender. And so the idea is with a pullback, you're beginning your drive going forward, and then you're throwing your shoulders and then pulling the ball backwards to get that separation. And it's that change of direction that's gonna get your defender off balance and, and get that separation for the jumper. So generally, there's two main things I like to think about. Number one, I like to think about planting my foot forward, just like that, and then throwing my shoulders over that foot. That makes it look like I'm still driving forward. The next thing I like to think about is getting my eyes up early coming out of it. So as I throw that and I come back, I wanna get my eyes up to the target as soon as I can because the longer I have to aim at it, the more accurate my shot's gonna be. What a lot of players do by accident is they come, they have a great pullback, they go into their jumper and they find the rim once the ball gets right about here. So it's really important that number one, you sell that pullback and number two, you find the rim early. So if you can do those two things, your pullback's gonna be pretty tight. All right, so the second move that I really love is the step back. Now, a step back's great because you can use it in any situation. You can use it off the dribble, you can use it off the catch, you can use a pop dribble to get yourself into it. And the idea is basically you're just stepping away from the defender instead of the pullback like we just learned. So with a pullback, you're pulling the ball backwards away from the defender, but with the step back, you're doing some sort of move first and then stepping back away from the defender. Most of the time, the step back's good because you can keep the ball on the opposite side of the defender away from him. So if I'm getting ready to drive and I cross over and my defender's on this hip right here, if I use a step back, I've still got the ball protected on the opposite side away from the defense. So that's one reason why a lot of people like a step back is because they can keep it protected all the way going into their jump shot. So there's a couple different variations that I like. The first is just a regular crossover step back where you're crossing the ball over in front, planting hard on your front foot, and then stepping back the opposite direction. Now the key here is you want that first plant to be going towards the hoop because you want to get the defender moving that direction. So as I cross over, I'm gonna plant here instead of out towards the baseline. If I'm planting out towards the baseline, um, they're gonna move with me and that's gonna be really hard to get that separation. So key number one, you wanna get that step going to the inside. Key number two is you wanna plant off that leg and get that explosion away. Again, just like the pullback, you wanna get your eyes up early and find that target, because a lot of people come across, they plant, they jump for that separation, and then they find it late, making it really hard to hit. So get those eyes up early, find the target. And the last key that really helps is thinking about keeping your heels off of the ground. Once you plant and you hop back, if you land on both your heels off of the step back, it's gonna be really hard to get your momentum into the jump shot. So instead, on the crossover, when you plant, stay on your toes here, heels up, Spring, stand your toes, heels up, and you should be good to go. All right, so the next move that I like for separation is a pop dribble. And this is great because you can use it really easily out of the catch or from kind of a standstill position when you don't have a lot of movement. And it's basically just like a jab step, but we're adding a live dribble to it. So when you catch the ball, a pop dribble is just you're going to pop the ball right down by your foot at the same time that you're stabbing. So you're popping and then hopping back into your stance. Um, this is great because as a defender's closing out, maybe they're rotating on defense, whatever it is, as you catch the ball, you can pop that dribble, freeze them, and then launch into your shot. So it's, it's not necessarily as much of a separation move as it is a freeze move, but it's still one of my favorites that I like to use. And remember, you can do it with either hand. I can pop left hand, left foot at the same time, but if I'm a right-handed shooter, I just need to make sure that I scissor my feet back so I can get an open jumper. If I pop that off hand and that off foot, and I don't, my feet are gonna be really square and I'm gonna have a lot of tension in my shoulder. So just remember, if you're gonna do a pop dribble on your off hand, Shuffle those feet, that way you get your dominant foot back in front. All right, so my next favorite is the cross step. Now, a cross step is great because you can get separation without putting your dribble down. So I know sometimes, you know, defenders hounding you full court, you haven't put your dribble down, or maybe you're on a three-point line and they're picking you up really, really tight. This cross step is a great way to ensure that you get separation so you can either attack or shoot a shot or get a pass off, whatever it is you're gonna do. So basically, cross step is just on the catch, you're in your triple threat here. You're gonna use a pivot foot either direction and you're going to step in between your defender's legs. So if my defender's closed out and they're really hounding me right here, I'm gonna to try to put my cross step directly in the center of their legs. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna cross step, put the ball on your back hip here, and you're gonna step in between their legs. So if I do this, they're gonna to have to give me space, right? Because if they don't, they're gonna get hit in the nuts or they're gonna foul me or something like that. As an offensive player, I'm entitled to my space. So all you gotta do is pick your pivot foot, 
cross step in between their legs. That way they're gonna give you space so when you open back up, now you've got room to work. You can shoot, you can pass, you can drive, whatever it is you wanna do. Um, the one thing that you gotta be careful of on a cross step is as you come through, make sure that you're not leaning with your shoulder. If you throw your shoulder in and lean, a lot of times they'll call you for a charge if you initiate that contact. So you wanna step in with your foot first, just like this, and then come back around. The last key you wanna think about is ball placement. So as I'm initiating this cross step, I wanna protect this ball because if they're hounding me, it's probably a pretty tough defense, right? So if I hang the ball out here towards the middle of my body, they can get a hand in and swipe it away. So what I wanna do is on the cross step, I wanna rip the ball to my back hip. That way they can't get to it. And if they do, they'll probably foul me and it'll be good for me, good for my team. So cross step, again, you can go either foot. Just make sure ball's on the back of your hip and you don't throw your shoulder forward. All right, so if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and then go to the comment section down below and let me know what you wanna see next. This is a channel for the people, by the people, and I run pretty much everything off of requests. So leave in the comment section down below and I'll probably get to it. And if you're new to the Splash Army, welcome. And you're gonna wanna do two things. Number one, hit that subscription button because we put out a bunch of videos every week and they're all gonna get you better, I guarantee it. Um, second thing you're gonna wanna do is click this button up here or the link in the description to get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's gonna work on every facet of your game that you need to be a lights out dominant score. And I highly, highly, highly recommend it because it's probably gonna increase your scoring average the very first time you use it. So you're gonna wanna click that button, check it out. Um, again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.